As I continued to make videos about tech, I wanted to upgrade some of the tools that I use to show it off and describe it. Hey guys, I'm Tom and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at a tool that measures. That is the carbon fiber digital caliper. Where I would typically just unbox this guy, there's not a lot going on in the packaging department here. So what we're gonna do is just test it. We have a couple of coins sitting in over here. I know the exact thickness of these said coins, and we're gonna kind of test how accurate this caliper is with things that are standard in measurement. So let's just get right into it. So I picked up this particular caliper on Amazon for just under $10. If you guys are interested in looking at or purchasing this guy, I'll make sure to throw Amazon affiliate links below. So it comes with two batteries. We'll open these guys up. And first impressions is this is most definitely not carbon fiber. This is most definitely plastic, which I'm not, I'm not surprised. There's calipers. Oh, there's already batteries in it. Extra batteries. I kind of wish I tested that before I went and opened them. I'm not losing those. So beyond the caliper, just kind of instantly feeling chintzy, it does seem to be pretty smooth. So I don't know a lot about calipers, um, but I do understand that there are obviously two edges to this one. One to measure the thickness of the outside of an item. And then this side over here is to measure the inside of an item, say like a, uh, a roll of tape. Kind of cool. So I have two sets of 2019 coins, nickels, dimes, and pennies. I don't know why I put them in that order. Let's just start with pennies and then we'll move up the ranks of coins. The thickness of a penny is 1.52 milliliters. Millimeters. <laughs> 1.52 millimeters. So let's see. So you can zero it out and there's a instant off button. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but 1.5. Now, this is the thing with uh, with this caliper is I can definitely push it further than, uh, than just the outside of this, where it definitely has a little bit of give. And should this be able to slide in and out? So like me pushing on it, I can make it 1.5, but I'm pretty sure I can make it 1.4. Nope, 1.5. I wish there was another decimal place we'd be able to really test the, be able to really test this. Okay, these pennies are okay in my book. The next thing we're gonna test is the nickels. A nickel is 1.95 millimeters. So let's put this caliper back on the table and slowly clamp it. I mean, this is pretty tight, right? That's what she said. That's saying 2.2. This is not a special nickel. I can't even get it to force down to 1.95. Literally at 2.2, 2.1, 2.2, Let's try this other nickel. Slide it right in there. That's what she said. This one's a little closer. All right, wait, so here we go. I don't know if the testing area for a caliper is supposed to be the tip or this, this further back area, because if it's the further back spot, it might be closer to 1.95 where this tip is catching the, the lip of the coin. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna say that those two nickels are, are not coming in at an accurate 1.95. If you consider five one hundredths of a millimeter, I think that's correct. I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. Regardless, I mean, they're close. For, for what I need them for, they're super close. All right, and a dime lastly is 1.35 millimeters. So right at the tip, and that's coming in at 1.4. Further in the back, yeah, 1.4. This one's pretty pretty on point too. Uh, the other 2019 dime, 1.5. Ooh, that's one of them thick dimes. 
I don't know. I mean, it's constantly going back to zero. It feels like if you guys see me pushing on uh, on the caliper, it, it seems to go into like a negative range when I'm distributing a little bit of extra pressure, which seems like it should be at least like another decimal place if it's that small of an increment. Regardless, um, this does go up to uh, almost six inches. Oh, there it is. Six inches should be technically right like there because this has inch marks zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It does seem to be somewhat accurate, but definitely not 100% accurate from what I'm seeing. But beyond that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace.